Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Transformer Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Shockwave, but the core class version, because we'll probably get a larger version later. Um, but yeah, there's a core class for you. You can see is his H tank. We'll put that, put that outside. And we'll look at the box, and yep, your Shockwave got Bumblebee. You got Shockwave there on the on the picture there. You got a bit of Bumblebee movie there. Yes, it is. There is no plastic. Deal with it. Um, it's not going to be a problem really. Probably in the end, Studio Series core class and all that stuff. So you got more pictures, authentic. You got the copyrights and stuff on the bottom and you have shockwave product shots up here and you have more copyrights and warnings down the bottom there's also instructions in the package which yeah it's a core class there's not a whole lot really to watch out for there's a, there is one part where they don't make it super clear how it's supposed to work but it's actually really easy to figure out anyway so yeah this is shockwave in an h tank yeah he's mostly purple and gray with some bits of silver here and there but yeah and some bits of black but yeah he's an h tank um yeah, there he is, H tank, uh, Cybertronian H tank. So yeah, you got you got the gun barrel, you know, stuff like that. You got the treads picked out in detail, you know, all that stuff. I mean, down here you can kind of see fists and stuff, and you know, some robot bits, and yeah, you can kind of figure out how he transforms from here. I mean, you also got this bit right there, all that stuff. Uh, and you got these little things, whatever they are. <laughs> I guess you know, and he has head shell not right back here too. Hello. Yeah, so that's the thing. If that upsets you, you can see its head in the alt mode. Uh, yeah, it's going to upset you right there. Because, yeah, it's right there. And, I mean, it actually serves a purpose here, but, yeah, it's a thing. Because, um, yeah, it's, it head, the head swivel serves as all the the gun swivel. Yeah, that can do more or less a full 360, although it can get caught on this stuff. And go up and down a bit as well. There are no wheels at all. So, uh, he just slides around. Yeah, um, it's it's decent. It's not amazing, but it's it's not bad, honestly. It's kind of fun. You just kind of scooch it around on your desk, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, transformation though, also pretty simple. Yeah, it's, uh, first thing you want to unpeg the turret. Which on mine, I'm not sure how common it's gonna be. It pegs in real tight to the back of the head there. It's really tight. Yeah, peg the, unpeg the turret. Move this little bit up on this bar and just move it up like that and just put it off the side for now. This is the part where the, I feel like the instructions could have done a better job, which this, this, this stuff, there's, there's a little slot here that goes in this, over this tab. It's like, just slots in like that. It, that's what you want to do. So you want to unslot that and untab this part. And with this as well, there are multiple um, hinges and rotations. There's a hinge and multiple rotations. You want to make sure to mostly rotate at the bottom, this, this hint, this rotation, not this one. Because if you this road one rotates at all, this this will happens. This tab will not line up with this slot and it won't um, come together. So my suggestion is when you're going from, you want to bend this down and then rotate it like uh, this. Actually, I like this. I think yeah, no, like this. You want to bring this down and rotate right here. That way, this all rotates. Because yeah, if you just rotate it here, often yeah, this 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 upper hinge will rotate too. And then what happens is, oh no, you can't get it to line up properly. See it now. It's um even though it's technically yeah bent mostly, it doesn't pro rotate properly. So you want to make sure that this hinge is lined up with this slot, and then rotate it in such a way that yeah it will then come up here, no problem like that. So yeah, just rotate it down, and then fold it, rotate the arm like that, rotate it down here, and then rotate the arm forward like that, and bring the, yeah then the and then go ahead and unslot these tabs and just bring the arms out like this. Yeah, unslot those and bring the arms up and rotate them out like that. Get those out of the way. So, go ahead and unpeg the legs right here. Just unpeg those. Then untab this part and this part right here and just bring this all up. And then bring this back like this. This back part right here will bring this back. Rotate this all up and bring this up and click into place like that make sure to push it all the way in and go ahead and down here with the legs bring these down like that bring them down and straighten them out straighten out the feet and go ahead and bring the arms down like so and finally rotate the head around you pretty much have shockwave in his uh, robot mode that's a cool thing you guys you know yeah it looks yeah that's his robot mode and of course you can take the gun here and just plug into any of the arm but of course it's the left arm because well that's its gun hand and it, it kind of does a decent job of looking like it's you know part of is actually his arm and not you know just plugged into a hand but you know if you look underneath you can oh no so don't do that but yeah overall though actually this is a nice little robot honestly even for core class yeah you can you know there's 
you know, you got the big old, he's got a big old mono, it's a lot bigger and wider, you know, he's got a white, wider head than normal, he's got the big old antenna, and he's got the yellow eye, nicely picked out, little details of striping too, I like, that. there's a lot of nice little detail for this size, of course, you got his little different colored mono boob thing, you got the gray, you know, a bit of grayish and silver, and yeah, that all that stuff, you got a little more down here, gray feet, purple, you got these little cool little vent things, and he cleans up pretty well too. All things considered, you know, he got a little bit of hollowness in the forearms, but nothing actually too major. Most of it, mostly he's not hollow. So yeah, actually he is a pretty solid little toy, honestly. I, I really like this thing. I really like Shockwave in general, but I genuinely like this one. This is a really nice little buy. I mean, yeah. Uh, posability is a uh, heads on a swivel only as far as I can tell. Yeah, so left and right pretty much you don't have any up or down or anything. His arms are on ball joints, so you got full rotation there. You got outward. Only that far because of sculpting. He has multiple bicep rotations. He's got one above the elbow. He's got a, a, a rotation, a bicep rotation above the elbow. He's got the elbow bend, which not quite 90 degrees, but a decent amount of bend. And I can also bend backwards if you need it to for whatever reason. And then he's got another a swivel below the elbow. So you can you know, do this if you want, you know, you can have him kind of, you know, clenching his fist up like that or whatever, if you need that. So yeah, multiple swivels there. He does not have a waist swivel thanks to how he transforms. There's a lot of hinges there. There's just, it wasn't, I guess there wasn't, wasn't room for a uh, waist swivel, unfortunately. That's it kind of stinks. Does have ball joint hips though. So you got forward about that far, unfortunately, before, you know, that's banging and things. So you got back that far, outward that far. There isn't really a thigh swivel, but there is the ball joint, so you got that. The ball joint does give you a little bit of um, outward, but not a whole lot. Uh, knees only bend so far. You know, they don't even go 90. And the feet, there is no tilt, but there is back and forth. So there's a little bit of posability, but they are also sculpted for an A stance, so that's something. And of course the gun here can be pegged in right there and all that stuff. Either high end, but of course the right one, the correct one is the left hand. So yeah, um, yeah, and of course because of the ball joint as well, he actually can go a little bit inward. There's actually quite a decent bit of inward thanks to how it's cut for the ball joint on the shoulder. I forgot about that, but yeah, so you got a decent amount of stuff going on there. It's so yeah, his posability is kind of limited in some disappointing ways. In some ways, are kind of understandable, but it's kind of surprising. It's, I don't know. He's not the most amazing shockwave, especially since, you know, we've had a lot of options for this one, actually this size class, even both official and unofficial. I mean, recently, you know, the combiner wars, uh, yeah. Iron factory, magic square, new age. They've all done a, a shockwave. New age has done multiple shockwaves. I mean, this isn't too bad. Especially for, you know, Bumblebee saying, yeah, it's the possibility is a little limited, but he just looks nice. And he's fun to play with. I've actually was sitting there transforming back and forth constantly for the last couple of days. So that's something I, I just, I think he's nice. He's not the most amazing thing, but I think you know, for 10 bucks, he's a nice little play desk toy. But yeah, if you know, yeah, with between him and Ravage, he's I think the better overall figure. But Ravage has the advantage, you know, he interacts with another larger figure. This one, yeah, I think they're gonna do more studio series in the core class that aren't like just tape bots and whatnot. So we'll see. But yeah, so for now, he doesn't really scale with anybody. <laughs> I mean, here, here's this uh, core Megatron from the Kingdom line, if you want, but different aesthetics. But yeah, just to give you an idea there. That's something. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. beyond that though, he, so he's the first of a, really the first of a, we'll see how this goes for the rest of the studio series stuff. Apparently we're getting us SS86 core rev, ra ratchet of all things. Supposedly, I don't know, it might be a weird thing. I don't know what's going on there. I think he's pretty solid little desk toy. He's, he's, he's not the most amazing thing, but he's fun to mess with. If you like Shockwave, sure, go get him, Gab. You just kind of, you sit there when you're doing whatever nonsense, just sit there messing with him while you're supposed to be working or whatever. <laughs> I think he's fun, but you know, he's not the most amazing thing. So it's again, not worth going out of your way or overpaying for him. But Hey, if you find him at the store, yeah, go ahead and get him. He's a fun little toy. He's not, I just think he's fun and he looks nice. He's got a somewhat clever transformation considering it's just an H tank and the H tank itself is not too bad. And he's got a good look robot with decent, if not amazing to not great, to, decent, not amazing, but decent articulation. Yeah, that's it. 
I hope you found this informative or entertaining. I hope you like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Twitter. I'm at Nipsis Prime One, and check out my coffee or my Patreon. And I says, yeah, see you next time with another vague review.